Hey guys, what's going on? It is Ando, and we are back with another video. It's gonna be a how to mod video, and we're gonna be talking about Kylo Ren. Now, I know I've given a lot of first order videos in the past, so uh, let me explain. I'm not a huge first order fan, although, you know, I do like them. Um, it's just because, you know, I had to get Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, and I had to relic up these gear, or these characters. So I just decided, you know, for those of you guys that are in the same shoes as me, um, you know, maybe I can make some helpful stuff. And I have, previously really liked the first order and we, we modded them a little bit differently so I'm gonna make my case to you guys about why we should mod it the way that we're gonna mod it and um, you guys can either take it or you guys can adapt it or, or whatever it needs to be if you guys like the video um, make sure you leave the like and subscribe and then uh, comment down below see how you guys um, you know mod your Kylo Ren and uh, yeah you know there's because there's different ways right and and we're just gonna talk a little bit about it uh, but first, we got a really, really important message from our sponsors. Okay, now that we got that done, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay guys, so again we're talking about our boy right here, the guy with the mask, uh, the OG Kylo Ren. Now, I'm going to tell you guys like why, I've, why I mod him the way that I mod him. Uh, it is purely for one team, and uh, so... If you're, there is, there's multiple uses out of him, uh, and there's multiple ways to mod him, and there's multiple thought processes behind it, and so uh, I just want to just be clear on what I'm modding him for and why I'm modding him uh, for. So it's specifically under the Kylo Ren Unmasked Leadership. Um, so there's ways that you mod him where he can solo teams. I mean, he really can. He can solo Old Republic teams. I've seen him be able to do basically a solo on relict out I mean not fully fully relict out but uh, some pretty decent relic uh, bounty hunters um, if you give them enough tenacity and stuff like that so he can he can do some pretty incredible things um, just depending on how we switch around this mod like his kit has a lot of versatility in it so I'm gonna explain to you guys what I'm using him for especially in Grand Arena um, that is like where I try to do the best in, in the game modes. I'm not a huge raid guy. I, I, I deal with mostly just kind of the grand arena aspect of it. So again, to start off, we have to remember that I'm going to use him under the Kylo Ren Unmasked Leadership. So it's going to give him 30% or 30 speed uh, on top of that. So I mod him, as you can see here, with, with a, a speed set. Now I've gotten him up to 275, which is pretty good. Um, and so you have to remember with that 30 speed now we're at 305 which again not unbeatable by you know the, the common counters are going to be uh, CLS and JTR uh, especially now that you've got relic crew and, and if you haven't checked out that video of how I mod him um, I would definitely go check that out because if they're bringing in the CLS they're going to unless they're not bringing in C3PO and even then they're going to have some troubles with it they better bring in a lot of relics with that because uh, a Relic 7 crew can get really, really tanky and be really, really hard to kill. So, really we're talking about JTR here. Now, again, it's not weird to see a BB-8 with plus 300 speed. Um, it Or just 300 speed, not plus 300. Uh, because, that I mean, it's just it built in his kit. He's fast. He gets the team going usually as well. So you're going to kind of use Kylo Ren at the same way. You want him to be fast. Um, and so... And the reason why you want him to be fast is this middle ability right here, Lash Out. Again, we'll talk about this and we'll kind of reference back the Kylo Ren Unmasked leadership. So, Lash Out is going to deal physical damage to all enemies and gain retribution for two turns. So, okay, so there's a status effect, right? So that's, you're going to recover 5% health and protection just from that. 
All right, this attack can't critically hit, so you don't have to worry about critical damage necessarily, which we're about to get into. And deals bonus damage equals to 50% of Kylo Ren's critical damage. Okay, so there's the critical damage and why you would want, sometimes you'll see a lot of people put in critical damage sets, right? Because I think it's 30% uh, critical damage. So first order allies and the way this the way that you should read this whenever there's an and you should really just read it as first order allies gain 25 percent turn meter and or just say and allies with advantage gain 25 percent turn meter right and we know that under the crew lead and really just in first order order in general they are always going to be given out advantage right so that's could it could potentially be up to 50 percent turn meter for your for your first order allies Right, so it's a really, really, really cool um, uh, ability, and this is if you've ever been or faced against a first order team, this is what the AI like goes for. This move right here, this is what they're always going to use. Um, so it actually plays into this very well. It's a great turn meter gain. You're able to, you know, recover some protection and health back under that crew lead because the retribution. And again, you know, you're you're dealing some damage too to everyone, which the AOE, you know, you're gonna start ripping away banners. Um, so, again, we'll, uh, we'll talk about the modding and, and why I do the, the way that we do it. So, we gain retribution, right? Which means now we got to look at the the basic ragged cut. Deal physical damage to target enemy with 75% chance to inflict healing immunity. Okay, it's pretty cool for two turns, and then a 75% chance to inflict damage over time for three turns. Okay. The, the Kylo Ren leadership doesn't really like give, you know, anything for landing debuffs on anyone. Although the healing immunity is nice because, you know, a lot of the JTR and even CLS um, compositions out there, they are going to be using a lot of heals, um, especially to try to regen some of that, that uh, those banners back. So, uh, not overall, not bad, but nothing's too important with the basic. All right, Outrage. So I'll read without the Zeta first. So you're gonna deal physical damage to target enemy and if, if Kylo has full health, inflict stun. Okay, so you got a stun in here. And this attack deals 75% more damage if Kylo is below full health. Okay, and if you add the Zeta to him, all you're basically gonna do is you're gonna recover the protection equal to the damage dealt. So that's why you see a lot of people with the Zeta here, they wanna have big protection pools because then you kind of Give yourself that buffer again, uh, enough time for the crew leadership to kick back in and start to reheal him up on health. Um, and he, he he has some of his own like you know uh, health and stuff like that regen. Um, so yeah, his unique is unstoppable. So whenever Kylo takes damage, he gains 50% defense stacking and 15% offense stacking again for one turn. And so you can see how attacking him over and over again, especially with characters that can't do a lot of damage and get him down uh, and, and you know take him out of the fight, it's going to really, really kind of go against you. Because now, you know, if you get him below that health percentage, he's already dealing, you know, 75% more. Now, you, you know, you hit him a few times, uh, you know, and he's got, you know, 45% more damage stacking onto that. So it's pretty it's pretty crazy and then he has a 50 percent chance to reset his cooldown just why you can always spam that lash out um okay and so we're going to talk about how kylo takes reduced damage from percent health defect or damage effects so that's guys like chewbacca he's not going to be as effective against him uh well at least with his basic um and then same thing with like malik uh with the um uh, drain um i forgot what it's called now the drain though uh, that's not going to do as much damage against him that we were normally uh, used to taking. Okay, so here's a pretty important part. And gains 10 speed for each debuff on him. Okay. Now, if you guys remember JKA, because this next part is going to kind of play into this. Whenever Kylo uses a special ability, he gains damage over time for two turns, right? So back in the day, J Jedi Knight Anakin, he used to have like, uh, he would used to like daze himself. He used to like, I think, I think it was a daze. And he used to like inflict damage over time. And it was just for no reason. Now, underneath the Kylo Ren leadership, when he, when he uses a special ability, which is, he's almost always going to use it. He's going to gain damage over time for two turns, right? That automatically means under that Kylo Ren leadership, because that is a status effect, that he is going to gain his 5% uh, health and recovery protection. So you're, again, even though that damage over time might seem like, oh, okay, well, that's weird. 
He's gaining back some health and protection from that. On top of that, he's also giving himself some more speed. So my my uh, Kylo Ren now, instead of being, oh, I forgot what it is, he's like 303 or something like that, 305, 307, something like that. He's now 317 speed. And um, so the more specials he's using, the more debuffs he's adding. And then, so don't add too many more debuffs onto him because he's going to be able to keep going and keep feeding that uh, turn meter train to him. So, um, yeah, so that's the reason why I, I, I put him at speed because I want him to be the first guy to go out and, and for this team and just kind of boost everyone up to 100% turn meter or beyond that. And then uh, the rest of the team is going to do what they do, right? They're going to they're going to continue that turn meter train. They can reduce other uh, characters' turn meter. Verse order is a great simple kit that can do a lot of things with turn uh, turn meter manipulation. Like they can either boost their own or they can reduce the enemies uh, as long as you can get them going. Um, so again, this is why I put uh, speed mods a speed set um, with health set the health set is really more or less because that's my usually my quickest mods um and again i didn't go like crazy with this is not like my fastest mods right like I, I know he's not my meta team or my squad arena team but you know again i get some some speed on here with the uh the square here or rectangle um the critical chance doesn't it doesn't really matter because a lot of times you're not going to crit with him um, and then some health, just again to add to some of his his uh, his pool, so he doesn't become super super weak. Uh, for speed, I got some protection in there, or, or for the arrow, we we got some uh, a speed arrow, and then we put some protection in there. Again, not really like a a huge thing, uh, but it was nice to add potency. Again, not huge. I guess it l helps land the stun. Um, but the the other things that he can do, like the inflict uh, healing immunity, is okay. Uh, but the uh, the damage over time is not really useful. Um, so you don't need a ton of potency on him. And, and there's a lot of uh, tenacity down with the the first order team as well. So you don't need a ton of potency, and you'll find that you'll still land a lot of these uh, TM or TM reductions, and then um, uh, stuns as well. Um, so I gave him a crit damage uh, triangle because again he does deal 50% of how much crit damage he does uh, bonus damage so you want to give him at least some crit damage where possible so the the triangle obviously makes the most sense uh, it's the only really place to really add it unless you have some good secondaries um, I gave him offense because again I, I want the I want him to rip as many banners as possible get those guys down to lower health. He's not my my main damage dealer on the team, but he's kind of the guy that's always going. He's hopefully spamming that AOE, uh, getting guys down, their health and protection down, and just wearing away their banners. And then I chose protection here. Again, I tried to give him a big uh, protection pool because he's got that Zeta. Uh, so the higher protection pool, I know that he's going to deal some pretty decent damage. So that's going to, again, give me that buffer allows some of that crew leadership to regain uh, regain some of that health that I lost um, so yeah and then protection with protection and speed again it's speed super important guys um, you know 20 speed uh, critic chance again it's not that important uh, potency is not that important um, and health is, is just it's nice to have uh, but you know health and protection uh, both of them are, are kind of equal in this this scenario um, defense, um, there's no other primary stat, but defense can be important. I used to have a defense triangle just because I didn't have a great speed uh, uh, triangle. And so I did have a defense for a, a little bit. Uh, he, he is kind of tanky, and if you, you can struggle to get him down if you, if you play it right. Uh, but again, the big thing, speed, protection, some offense, all good stuff. So again, guys, the reason why I modded him the way that I did is not because I, um, I'm trying to solo a team. It's specifically because I want a defensive team under crew, and I need to get that team going because a lot of times we're going to face JTR. JTR does have the advantage, I won't lie to you guys. Um, but at least what you can do is maybe take away the banners, give them a, you know, a 55 
banner win instead of maybe a 60 or, or whatever or a 62 even and so speed i think has helped me out a lot with these wins um and we'll continue to go over some more first order if you guys want if you guys want other characters on, and or other common mismodded characters that i at least that i in my eyes um let me know in the comment section below guys thanks again for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video